To make ballistics gelatin, more commonly known as ballistics gel, you'll need gelatin, two containers, and distilled water. I've read that the ratio for gel to water is for every ounce of gel you have, you need a cup of water. And I figured out that four packets is an ounce, so two packets would be half an ounce, so I need half a cup of water. So I'm using two packets and half a cup of water. For larger scales, for every one pound of gelatin, use a gallon of water. Now you have to stir it. This takes a while. Make sure you get most of the gelatin dissolved. So I've dissolved most of it. And I'm almost done. Now put it in your fridge for a couple hours until it becomes a solid. So it's been a couple hours and as you can see the gelatin water mix is solid. Now we have to melt it and freeze it again. I'm using warm water to melt it. You can use a stove. You can use any method you like as long as you melt it and freeze it again. So I'm going to let that sit for a while and let it become a liquid. So now it's a liquid. And I'm going to put it back in the fridge to let it cool. I'm going to leave it there overnight. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into my mold. This is optional, but you can add cooking spray to the inside of your mold so the ballistics gel, when it's ready, it'll just slide right out. I didn't, but I still got it out of the mold. Now put it back in your fridge. So I've left it there overnight and it's solid. Here it is, taken out of the mold. I think it represents human flesh density pretty well. Thanks for watching.